What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be continuing the series that I've started uh, the previous month and that is advanced BIM analysis with the Baxel Manager. Uh, today's topic is going to be quantity takeoffs and data enrichment. Now if you haven't watched the previous video, uh, this is going to be a 12 part series uh, that's sponsored by the Baxel Manager and uh, through these videos uh, we want to bring uh, kind of awareness to some of the more advanced and more complicated parts of the building information modeling process uh, and I'm really glad that I'm working with a company that's doing this in real life on actual projects completing uh, major projects because it is quite a complicated uh, top, uh, topic or series of topics and even I'm learning uh, a lot of new things with each of these uh, episodes. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's get started. In the previous video, I have explained the main benefits and the majority of BIM analysis in construction management and besides that, We've learned about color-coded custom breakdowns, selection sets, and data verifications. In case you've missed that video, find the link in the description just below this video uh, or within the video up in the cards above. In today's video, I will teach you how to create QTO from scratch. Then we'll use some of the creation templates available on the Bexel user area where we will speed up the workflow even more with template usage and generate various reports. We will also automatically enrich the BIM model with some properties that are missing. Finally, we will create an advanced interactive area analysis report based on room area parameters. So let's begin. The logic for creation is pretty much the same as for custom breakdowns, except that we are selecting and adding quantities uh, available within the element properties to the system for quantity takeoff generation. Now, what's important here is that once created quantity takeoffs, QTO can be adjusted and reused on other projects. And on the other side, and integrated approach opens the possibility to use quantity takeoffs as well as custom breakdowns. For other analysis and reports within different modules, for example, cost classification creation, but more about uh, that we'll cover in the next videos. If you want to follow the steps from this video, you can simply go to the Bexel user area and download some of the sample models, in this example, high rise sample. If you don't have Bexel Manager, you can always request a one month free trial and automatically get access to the user area. Are you ready? After opening the model, let's create a new QTO. You are able to create QTOs for select elements only for the whole project, custom categories, families, or any other element uh, organization that you have created. We will select all elements within the model and add rules for quantity takeoff structure generation. First, we will add building and then model categories and then families. Now we will add desired quantities, area, volume, length, and element count, for example. Let's add color-coded rule on category level and click OK. QTO is automatically generated by defined rules. We can see on the first level building one, 01, on the next level categories and at the lowest level model families. Now we are able to analyze results within QTO form uh, to isolate groups of elements included in quantification, for example slabs, walls, rooms, and so on. Once created, QTO, uh, it can be saved as a template uh, and used on other projects. I will demonstrate an exchange process and usage of the template on office building that is, I think, a well-known project. 
I will create a new QTO, select all elements by choosing Balkan Architect Building and click on the Import Template. I will select a previously saved template and open it and that's it. Within a second I got a quantity takeoff for the whole building uh, distributed by categories and families. Now if I want I'm able to adjust this QTO, add more rules, quantification and much much more. And this is just an example. How many repetitive tasks do you have while creating analysis, reports and in general managing the project? Why not automate all of these processes and save time to focus on the important part of the project analysis? Now let's use some of the uh, available templates from the Bexel user area. I will use the Uniformat Configuration Document or template for QTO generation. Within this workflow I will also show you how to enrich a BIM model if some of the properties on elements are missing. But step by step. First we create the new QTO, name it and select for which elements you want to apply the template. Select Uniformat template by clicking on the Import Template button and then hit Open. The QTO breakdown structure is implemented in the, on the BIM elements that have property Uniformat which is used as a rule in the template. BIM elements are distributed into different levels of the Uniformat classification. Let's see how the breakdown structure, what the breakdown structure looks like and we can see count, length, area and volume for each position in the QTO. When we hide uh, elements included in the QTO, we are automatically isolating elements without uniformat code property, so let's hide them. And now if we select some of these elements, so we can confirm that in the list of properties Uniformat code is missing. Now one of the workflows is to send back the model and reports to the designers. They add the missing Uniformat codes to the elements within the authoring tool, uh, then send back the model and after the update process finally get quantifications ready for the reporting. But we all know how much uh, time this process can take. With another Bexel Manager add-in, we are able to automatically enrich the BIM model with missing properties and get the needed reports and analysis instantly. On the Bexel user area, you can download the data enrichment add-in and within the installation, you will get a sample Excel configuration document, which you can configure and adjust to your needs. This way, you can automatically add a vast amount of needed properties with one click click. Data enrichment template is configured in that way so you can easily fulfill with its needed properties which will be added to the specific elements based on defined rules. Within the first three columns uh, are existing properties to closely define which elements we want to enrich. In this case, uh, the first column is category, uh, the second one is family, the third column is used for an even detailed uh, distribution of the element properties. Uh, for example, we have the same family within the same category, but elements within it belong to different systems and do not have the same uniformat code. Uh, in this case, we will name uh, the third column system name and assign uh, accurate uniformat code to those elements. This column can be, for example, levels of the building. Uh, if we want to enrich the model with uh, reinforcement data because the element on the first floor does not have the same uh, specific weight as the element from the same family on the last floor. The fourth column defines the type of the property and the last one is the value of the property that will be assigned to the elements, in this case the uniformat code. 
Uh, here are some enrichment configuration documents based on BSDD, Building Smart Data Dictionary, useful for automated enrichment using common properties and rules. Uh, for example, categories and systems, so it can be implemented on any project. Uh, this way, user is able to automatically enrich the BIM model with different kinds of standardized classification. Before I start the process, just a quick look at the workflow. We should import an Excel spreadsheet into the enrichment add-in and software will generate selection sets with results and all elements which have rules defined in Excel will have assigned uniform at code. In the end, we can export the back enriched properties to the authoring tools and exchange information with other stakeholders. Okay, now I will demonstrate the workflow. Run Install Data Enrichment Add-in and open the Excel spreadsheet previously explained. Hit Open and in a matter of seconds I will get a notification that the data is imported successfully. Selection sets with results are automatically created and if I open one of them, the same rule defined in Excel spreadsheet table are the same rules are uh, visible within the set. Before the enrichment process, I left isolated elements without uniformed property, right? If we select one of these elements, we can be assured that after enrichment element has uniformed code within its set of properties. Now let's update QTO Uniformat to include enriched elements within the quantification. Click on the refresh button and hit OK. Let's select elements included in the updated QTO. We can see that all visible elements are now a part of created quantity takeoff. Quantity takeoff is now ready and can be analyzed within Bexel Manager. So let's switch to a color coded 3D view to visualize the results. I am able to automatically select elements within the QTO form and manage their visibility. Also, I can check every position and see exactly which elements are calculated within the current quantity takeoff. And finally, export QTO report to Excel. Bexel offers different reports type. And the most interesting is the visual styled uh, report, uh, which will, besides the quantification of the current position, create the screenshot from the BIM model for the calculated BIM elements. Of course, within Excel, there are also a, a flat table useful for pivot and analysis and a breakdown structure spreadsheet with level of details and positions organized and broken down by defined rules within the software. And at the end of this video, I will show you one, of, uh, show you one more interesting report, area analysis, which you can create with available data within the Bexel Manager using Power BI Dashboard. I will go to the Bexel user area and download area analysis template. Within the downloaded folder, uh, there are QTO template, Power BI file and readme document with detailed instructions for report creation. Okay, now let's create a new quantity takeoff, name it, select spaces as category for analysis and import the template. And all spaces are distributed by levels and room names. For the Power BI dashboard, I will export the report from Bexel Manager and save it on the location specified in the README file within the download folder. Click on the export button and open the Power BI file. After refreshing, the latest data from Bexel Manager is loaded and a fully interactive report with all information needed for area analysis is ready. The report contains statistic charts, comparison tables, and so on. Now I can filter rooms and levels and analyze specific floors or specific rooms in the building. 
This template is applicable to any model with defined rooms. Uh, quickly, let's get back to the office building and repeat the process of creating an area analysis report. So I will import the template export report on the same location specified in the readme file and just refresh the Power BI dashboard. After all the rooms from the office building are listed and the report is fully interactive, for example in the total area comparison table I can click on the one room and uh, visualize its area compared with the whole project area. A very practical report for a project analysis, right? And that's pretty much it for this month's episode. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it and please tell me in the comment section below the video which one of these workflows fits best in your needs and activities. Uh, we're going to be continuing this uh, next month, obviously, uh, and we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be sticking with the design phase and we're going to be talking about clash detection, but not only clash detection in BIM, but also how to automate the whole clash detection workflow with the usage of clash matrix templates and other advanced features within Baxel. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial in a few days. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.